Callie, I want to dive in for to the big overall question of what is a drag queen? Like, what is drag? Wow. Do you have a couple hours? Or? A couple. <laughs> um, what is a drag? What is what is drag? Drag is self-expression that kind of messes with gender and comments on culture in so many different ways. Um, that makes it, it makes it a really difficult question to answer because, like, I feel like everybody's drags is different. Like their mm. style of performing is different, and mine is. Today, um, someone who didn't want to put on a dress because <laughs> she didn't want to she do had armpits. It. So that's <laughs> that's my drag. I love if it. If that tells you anything, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Yo, no, I love it. Uh, it's just like someone coming up to you and it's like, what is dance? And yeah. you're just like, <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> like, How do you do that? Yeah, no, it's, um, it's those people that are dressed up and wearing way too much makeup and um, going around and giving you a good time and... If you have a dollar, give it to them because they're happy about it. <laughs> Heck yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, so drag, it's like, like how long does it take you to get in full drag makeup and outfit? Oh, man. It really depends on my mood. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, I, in a, I've done it in like two hours, full, you know, shower to heels. And um, I've taken my time, and sometimes that's when it's a little bit better. Right, right. Um, I was on the news, and I had to just kind of like rush home from work, and so I could, you know, I got Go off down. at three thirty, had to be on the news at five thirty, and somehow, by the grace oh, of God, gosh. I was, you know, it, you know, had a donut in my head and everything. But right, it, you made <laughs> it's it. It's not always like that. Right, you pulled up. You mm -hmm. did it. <laughs> you pulled up. That's cool. So. What got you interested in drag? Like, what made you kind of become aware of it? What was like, you know, what was, maybe, let me ask you this. What was the first time you, like, started doing drag? That's a good question. So I was in this show um, that uh, was here in, in Pocatello called Little Shop of Horrors. And I was one of, the, like, the doo-wop girls. And I, um, that's not supposed to be played by a drag queen, but like, they're <laughs> like, it. oh, she's good. So I, that's like the first time that I like put on a wig and, and like did stuff. It was like a theater aspect. It was um very difficult because I was nervous about it because I wanted to look good. And, you know, right. I, didn't, I don't really look like a girl most of the time. <laughs> so that was a lot. I think for me, the whole concept of drag was like an... Like having done theater and performed and dressed up all my life, it was just kind of nice foray into this art style. Um, also, I'm pretty gay, so it just seemed like I was connecting to my roots, whatever that is. Right. <laughs> right. So, I don't know. Yeah, because, you know, like I said, I want to bring you on to learn about drag. And so when I was reading online, I, I was reading that drag is a part of the gay culture. It's mm -hmm. a big part of gay culture, um, what, I was, what I was reading online. And... But it said it wasn't common that, you know, just like it, it's pretty open. It's pretty diverse. And I love that statement you said about drag because it's not just, you know, this whole thing like anybody can do it. Like anybody can dance. Like it's, yeah, yeah. it's a culture you can be a part of. And so I like just to ask you, even like around here, have you seen, have you met or seen any single men that do drag? Like single it, men? That, well, I'm not oh, not single. Man, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Like straight men? Straight men. Not single. Um, not here. I don't think people are here are open enough with themselves to be able to do that however I um i as far as drag expression goes i feel like the singular image that people have is of a drag queen and i think that you know my drag kind of meets that in a lot of ways but there's also drag kings um there's also i mean oh i guess i do know a straight man who does drag but he does it like as a guy oh um interesting now that i'm thinking about it um his name's Buster Hyman. Nice. I like it. So Buster good. Hyman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, no, it's, it's just like one of those things. I know like women who do femme drag. I know, you know, like men who do masculine drag. I know women who do masculine drag. I do. I know a lot of people who do a lot of stuff that's a mix of the two. And right. it's just really interesting to watch people's interpretations of like what gender is to them and how that relates to their identities and also to outer right. culture i love that a lot so you're saying that you can even see men do drag but as a like dress as male yeah right? yeah, yeah yeah as an average you, know, uh, you well you have i think this is my personal belief that if you're going to be someone like if you're a cis person like someone who was identifies as the the gender that you were assigned as birth or you know even are like presenting as a gender and then doing that in drag 
I think that you really need to step it up. Right. To, as far as, like, a costume and makeup goes. And my friend Buster, for instance, he, like, was very into, like, glitter beards and, like, doing, like, cool makeup oh, looks. Oh, interesting. Um, just uh, for Halloween, he did... Um, gosh, who was... Um, the what is that? What is that show with Jason the, Momoa? Jason Momoa? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, it's a horror show where he like has the claw and he's like gonna grab her pussy and all this type of stuff. Do you know what I'm talking I, about? Nightmare on familiar. Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. That guy. Yeah. He dressed up as. Gosh darn it! I can't think. Freddy, of Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. He dressed up as Freddy Krueger. Did all it. that kind of makeup. Anyway, so but it's like you know, it's like a heightened experience of gender. Interesting. In the flesh. In the flesh, I love that. That's like super interesting to kind of even. I don't. I've never seen that. Even heard that. So yeah. But uh, like I said, it, lots of questions. You know, very unknown and wanting to you know learn more about the community, this culture. You know, as like I mean, I was a dancer for a long time. Mm-hmm. I was around makeup, theater, dance, just so much of the thing. So you open up to this culture thing. And when I saw it, my first thing is like, what is it? You know, I'm mm-hmm. saying I need to make my way down to Charlie's because I heard they have some of the best shows around they here. They do. Yeah, I they're doing just lot, lots and lots of drag, and I feel like. Um, the way you get good drag is by current constantly fostering that community, and I right. feel like they're, you know, people they're on are really, it. really showing up nowadays. Heck yeah, yeah. Because I see videos, like I said, a couple people we we know in common. I just see videos on Facebook, and it's just like normally a packed room, and I'm like, this mm-hmm. must be popping. It's nice. That's awesome. That is super <laughs> cool. Um, that's awesome to learn how you got into drag and how you kind of got involved yeah. with it. But like, really, what made you like take it to the next level to be like go perform with it more and i just feel like it's a good opportunity to do a lot of different things um people i think people just are more interested in me if i have a full face of makeup <laughs> on. i think that's true and not to say that they're not interested in me when i'm like a boy or whatever but um you know i can do a lot of singing gigs i can do there's just like more i just there's more performance opportunities when i'm a drag queen there's more things that i can wear there's more things that i can comment on there's more things i mean mm-hmm. i don't know like for instance with reading time i don't know how interested people would be if it was just me one 24 year old homosexual with no children of his own <laughs> right like <laughs> just reading to children at right. the library um you know the interesting part is that i'm dressed up as like maria von trapp or right. a big pink monster reminiscent of soli or what else the people said about right. me i don't know 